Today we are headed to the Fossil Creek Water Recreation Area. We're specifically going to the Sally May Recreation Area. And we are so excited. It looks like it's going to be like 30 to 45 minutes of back roads. So Mike could possibly have to use his 4x4 in our truck, which is kind of exciting. Yay! But he's saying, <laughs> so, yay! Right, so the map says that we are less than 14 miles from it. Like, we're only like 5 miles as the crow flies, but it's like 14 miles from where we're at. And it says it's going to take 54 minutes to go a dirt road. And then the other way was like 57 miles, and it's going to take an hour. So it's like 15 miles, 50 miles at the same time. So we're going to take the fun way. <laughs> yeah, we are. So join us today as we drive into the middle of the Arizona desert off-roading and find a fun waterfall spring to go swim in. Yeah. I pulled over. Uh, I had a bunch of people behind me, like in Jeep Cherokees and Jeeps and stuff. And, and and we thought we were upsetting them, but then they all slowed down, upset that we were taking a break because. Oh, and we're in a truck with an empty bed, so we're. Yeah, yeah, you know, but they were upset that we left because they were driving. We were warning them because when Mike would fishtail, it was super obvious in our monster truck. So they would know exactly when to be safe and now they're on their own. And they were a little upset that we, they were on their own now. so we made it to the Sally Mae turnoff. So it's about 13 miles down through scary mountain roads, but we made it to the Sally Mae parking area and we're gonna go see if we drive a little more or if we just park here. So we've met up with the park ranger and he gave us some really helpful information. So it turns out that um, we are in the right place, but the road right near the end of the falls is washed out and it's solid rocks so he gave us you know helpful tips of where to park and we'll share that with you so the bad news is that the road past this going towards uh strawberry arizona the exciting short way that we were looking forward to leaving in is closed because the road is literally falling into the canyon so there's that so we're almost there. We've got like half a mile until we get to the place where the park ranger told us to park. So yay. All right, so we finally made it to the parking area. We are so excited. So Mike is blowing up the floaty and then we will head out. We 
found it. Now, now to find a way down. Did you touch the mountain? What does it feel like? It feels like mountain. It feels like mountain. Feels like it mountain? Feels like mountain, yeah. Uh, brand new information. I, I said if I pee on this, do I still have to pay property taxes? <laughs> property? <laughs> nah, it, you've, you claim that's it as how, yours if you pee on it. masculine land claim to me. <laughs> well, would you want to claim this as yours and go in and out of the scary road of death every day? I'd pay it. You pay it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, let's go find. Let's hike down. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we kept wondering if this was it. Because the whole time, the locals were all telling us that it's epic. It's There's like rocks that slide down and waterfalls and all this really cool stuff. It's why we braved the road of death for 50 minutes. So we think we hear water. We think we hear what sounds like a lot of water, like a waterfall. So, so we're trying to go downstream a little bit where we hear lots of water. So we will see. Wow, yes, we found the waterfall and it is epic. We definitely found the waterfall, guys. Yeah, or a waterfall. You guys ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go on the trail. I'm not inside this. Take the plunge, Katie. Hold this, darling. So Mike, you've taken the polar plunge. Not yet. I'm up to my knees. You're up to your knees. You hear a girly man scream, echoing, even though I went deep. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't wanna you don't wanna go lower than your knees? No. Or or have water higher than your knees? Yeah, it's above ground plumbing, honey. <laughs> <laughs> So I forgot sunscreen and I'm going to be a lobster. <laughs> Me too, being a redhead. We, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is gorgeous. So yeah, the water is 70 degrees. It's like a spring, 70 degrees. And 70 degrees is cold to me. So. <laughs> it is, because the water where we came from in Florida was always like a bathtub. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like 90 degree water, so this is cold, man. So. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna stay right here on my rock. <laughs> oh, you want all of us go there? All right. That's in the jiggly bit zone, honey. I don't know. <laughs> did, did you say that's in the jiggly bit that's zone? In the jiggly bit zone. Mike! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so climate says that we are in deep desert. That's that's the topography that we're in, deep desert. It's trees and bushes and, and green Water, and, waterfalls. and a waterfall in the middle of Arizona. So I mean how how gorgeous is that? I, this doesn't feel very deep desert to me. Yeah. <laughs> deep cold. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! I have a baby now. Can you see? 
So now that we've been all the way in, played in the water, and come all the way out, I think it was worth it. Yeah, it was so much easier getting out than going in. I yeah. think because we knew what to expect. But, yeah. You know, we, we didn't, and we were on the inside this time, not there, the outside. There was really no videos that you could watch. It's just all like, oh, hey, we're here, you know. And so you, you're, you start off really small, and you're just like, I said, 
and, and then next thing you know, again, it's like, I don't know what it is with our family. It's like nothing, and then boom, 1,500-foot fall-offs. <laughs> and, and there's no guardrails. There's no posts. There's no signs. There's no mosquito netting. There's no, nothing. And, and you just, you're looking down like a 1,500-foot valley. And it's beautiful. And it's then scary. your tail, your, because we were in a truck, and the bed of the truck is lightweight, we were, the back end was skidding and sliding. Yeah. But the, the Jeeps and the all-terrain vehicles had zero issue. They were going a lot faster than us. No skidding. They had no issues. We yeah, had we're issues. In, we're in a 3500, so our rear suspension is dialed in like really tight. And so we felt every bump. So we would start hopping. The back would start fishtailing because we're, we're hopping. But it's designed that way so we can pull weight. You know, it loosens up and you put weight on it. But yeah, all the Jeeps and minivans and everything, they were fine. They, they weren't bouncing yeah. like we were, but you know, it's, it's whatever. Yeah. So your experience might be a lot better than our experience driving in and out. Um, for us, it was it was interesting. But it it wasn't, it, I would, I would still, I would do it again. Yeah, we didn't stop at the first couple ones. We kept going all the way to the end. We're all the way to the end. And... It's a shame that the road from Sally Mae to Strawberry, Arizona, is uh, been washed away because yeah, the Ranger was saying that it they, they says it's going to cost like 180 million to fix it, so they're probably never going to do it. So that yeah. road is the only way in and out, probably forever. So yeah, so so I highly recommend it. It was a lot of fun. The waterfall was gorgeous. And I would definitely do it again. And we may. It was fun because the GPS said the speed limit was 55. And I think I went eight miles an hour the whole way. <laughs> so, Seriously. Anything over that is not safe. It's not safe. But. No. Especially with those like straight down mountain drops. That was interesting. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good time. Good family fun. Yep.